Important observation facts, such as these, for example, if you eat a wild little bird and take out a grain of wheat from its crop, you'll see that the flour made from that grain of wheat is not the same as the one used at home, which is refined. The carnivore in the forest eats an enormous quantity of meat from time to time or once a day and he doesn't do any exercise, just like the male lion in Africa. And you'll never see a fat lion, even though they don't do anything. Then those arguments went against the calorie balance that stated that the only way to recover the balanced stability, this is, of size and normality, was to eat less and exercise, which is still exploited in a trivial way. Because with this calorie balance system, you will never show me any permanent example of people who do these things without going on a diet. Fat people have to do it all their life. Another thing that drew my attention is the different types of cravings fat people have. Every fat person has two types of cravings. An absolutely normal appetite for food offered by nature and a compulsive appetite that is impossible to dominate through will for those things that man manufactures with his hands and his machines and which precisely are blended, made, manufactured with elements that are never offered by nature. In other words, unbalanced flour, as I already said, doesn't exist. Fine flour doesn't exist. The balanced flour is the one obtained from the little grain inside the crop of a wild little bird. Fat doesn't exist. Animals of pure fat? None. They are always combined with other nutrients and configure the biological balance. Sugar inside the beet and the sugar cane doesn't exist. Sucrose always goes together with the rest of the nutritional elements. And alcohol doesn't exist. It has to be manufactured. Then, surprisingly, we reach the conclusion that all that nature offers to living beings in their natural ecosystem has a biological balance. It has proteins, which are the only ones that carry nitrogen, carbohydrates, which is only carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, fat, whose constituent elements are exactly the same, carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, without nitrogen, minerals, vitamins and water. This is what's known as the biological balance. And man lost this biological balance 2,600 years ago looking precisely for a way to improve the quality of food. Man started to divide. Well, that's very technical. So for general comprehension, started to separate the components of this biological balance and combine them without thinking, although he knew it, that what he was mixing was chemically the same. In other words, constituted by an extraordinary overload of carbohydrates and fat over the protein, which is the only one that carries nitrogen. In my opinion, this would be equivalent to food stress, a concept that is not very widespread in the world yet, but it explains why this food, which isn't natural or biologically balanced, if eaten in a chronic way, modifies all the functions that a balanced alimentary canal was thought to maintain. So what was necessary? It was necessary to recover the functional biological balance of an elementary canal that had been unbalanced by man. Notice that unbalanced milk, let's say a baby, if the parents don't have any genetic illness, a baby that suckles during the primary nursing for the first two or three months is neither fat nor thin. You must also notice that a compulsive craving is always for those blends that have an overwhelming prevalence of carbohydrates and fat, something never found in nature. Compulsive hunger for a thousand leaf cake, black forest cake, chocolate, pastries, bread with butter, cookies, pizza, and ice cream. Then I thought, the elementary canal can be recovered and it should carry out control functions, just like a functional porter as a comptroller, in the sense that if we can recover it, somehow it would absorb what the body needs according to what the body spends. 
no matter the amount that is digested. And this would explain some elements of, or concepts that don't agree with the principle of calorie balance. We would understand the compulsive hunger that a normal person will never have for meat, eggs, beans, fruits and vegetables, fish, shellfish, and for poultry, and milk. But that compulsive hunger will always appear when the regular, complex, and multiple functions of the elementary canal are distorted. 